Hi guys, I'm Jojo Astro Barbie, Fairy of Love, how are you? Welcome to your weekly horoscope. Well, this week the sun is in the sign of loving Libra. Happy birthday to you, beautiful Libras of the world of the zodiac. The moon will travel in the signs of Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, and Sagittarius. So let's get ready this week for strong winds of justice. All kind of things happening where the wheels of karma are turning stronger and stronger. A week with a lot of activities and a couple of days, especially on Monday and Friday, many surprises, okay? On Monday, we have a, what you call a beautiful new moon in the sign of Libra. That's good because Libra sort of makes everything a little bit more in the justice, in the peace, in the good. It calms things down okay it's an ideal time too to really really start something new make a fresh start to make things right and on tuesday also venus will enter the beautiful sign of scorpio bringing better more civil civil polite communication somewhat okay deeper more profound exchanges more also the ability to deep really deep for the truth and to really bring everything into the light. For the next three weeks, we will see that and it will be very, very exciting. We need to be very careful not to be obsessed. We need to be flexible, understanding and patient and let the universe do its things through us and everything. Remember, the universe is very smart. On Wednesday, we have a minor square Mars, Venus, planet of love that uh, what could ruffle our feathers a little bit okay it's gonna be a crazy day a bit we need to really do things slowly patiently and follow the law i'm telling you the wheels of karma are so strong at work right now what a great opportunity for all of us in in our humanity to really make things right you know what when we get accountable for our whatever we didn't know better what a great opportunity to do better okay i'm doing poetry now Ta -da! the moon in fiery sag also and the sun square pluto can bring power struggles this week with authority figures well we've been seeing this a lot in the news whatever country you are in canada united states and even around the world definitely everything to do with the powers that be right now the different sides are really struggling to really get it right and at the end of the day the universe will bring everything to the light so it's very important also to celebrate Columbus Day and Indigenous Day on Monday. ta -da! Libra, Libra, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, my beauties of the zodiac. The new moon in your sign and Venus entering your financial sector brings clarity in your relationship and partnership. You can see clearly now. The focus is on also tearing down and letting go of the past and make a fresh start. In love, also, you need to make some choices. Choose what is good for you long term, not good short term, and walk away if it's not. In career, unexpected good news await for you on the weekend. The spiritual you is very alert. You will feel your soul deeply. Your magical color lilac, lucky numbers, 3 and 21. Ta da! Scorpio, Scorpio, the new moon in your spiritual sector and Venus entering your sign make you the star of the week. You feel stronger, more daring, adventurous, changes in the air. Take action, okay? Really, luck is on your side. Jupiter is sitting on your sun. It's going to be moving in your second house in November. Wow. Studies, research, taking care of your health, your beauty, legal affairs, projects and career, making more money, all favored. I'm telling you, the universe is ready for you. If you're ready for the universe on the weekend, visualize your dreams and think of how you could make it happen, how you could manifest them, because you hold the key to do it now. The magical color fuchsia, lucky like numbers 13 and 44. Sagittarius, my darling, the new moon in your social sector make you very popular, very charming. Venus also entering your spiritual house make you inquisitive and curious like a mouse. Research studies are favored and in love, ask yourself, is it true love or is it a convenient friendship with a little benefit or no benefit at all? Well, if it's not true love, what are you doing? Maybe it's time for you to move on and 
find true love. Don't you think you deserve this, my beauty? And you are the luckiest sign for the next two, three years. So, hey, plant the seeds now. Be courageous and be brave. Don't settle. On the weekend, you feel on top of things and everybody thinks you're great. Your magical color red, lucky numbers, 532. Capricorn, the new moon in your career sector make you very assertive and Venus planet of love entering your social house really bring excitement and joy in your personal life. It's a good time to really help other people and sometimes you may need to say no. The emphasis is also on self-awareness and the feeling of liberation from the past. More freedom. Are you ready for a fresh start? Hmm? This is your time. Do it. On the weekend, someone makes you feel very special. Libra, Cancers, and Leo definitely show they care. Your magical color silver, lucky numbers 6 and 15. Ta da! Aquarius, the new moon in your karmic sector brings awareness in the purpose of your life. You're very inspired this week. Venus entering also your house of career brings confidence and the ability to convince people easily. And it's a good week to take care of your health. If you have anything to do with the hospitals, doctors, dentists, it's good for you. And also, you'll get a lot, a lot of enlightenment about your dreams. Uh, the puzzle of your life is falling into place right now. You're putting things in order and people around you also are making their life more stable and it makes a difference in your life. So this week, just enjoy being you, being the master more and more of your life. On the weekend, tender moments await. Are you ready? Of course you are. Do not resist. Say yes. Your magical color lilac, lucky number 7 and 43. ta -da. I see spices, little dolphins, and mermaids of the zodiac. The new moon in your shared resources sector can pull you in many directions, simultaneously tantalizing you with wild possibilities and wishes and uh, keeping you guessing for what way you could go, what is possible. The solution is truly, truly to really dream big to really let the universe inspire you, but also keep your feet very firm in the ground. Because you'll be able to get answers, especially in the next three weeks, a month or so. Many things that you are envisioning right now, they're starting to manifest. Venus planet of love entering your karmic house. It's like now you are reconnect with the past somehow. So your future love life, your past love life will be sort of brought in the present. It's like your present. It brings also mind power, uh, the ability to be the best you could be, to be in shape, and also very loving feelings, and it makes you feel so good inside. In love, a surprise awaits. So get ready to be love for you. On the weekend, romance is in the air, so enjoy it. Say yes. Cancer, Taurus, and Virgos definitely appreciate you. Your magical color is mauve. Lucky numbers 8 and 35, and you should play lottery. Aries, the new moon in your relationship sector help you really make a fresh start this week. Wow, more confidence. Venus, planet of love, entering your shared resources sector, make you more popular. It could bring you also internal battles inside of you, but you're able to, after Wednesday, Thursday, you'll be able to sort of like swing on the better side of yourself and believing in yourself. Caring friends, advisors really, really could help you this week. Listen. But at the end, do follow your own truth. But you'll see that whatever advice you get and your truth, pretty much the same. Your entire life right now is really turning around. So get ready for a fresh, exciting start all the way. Do not resist, just go forward. On the weekend, family and friends are definitely making you happy. Your magical color, orange, lucky numbers, eight and 44, ta-da! Taurus, Taurus, the new moon in your work sector brings confidence, charm, and also good ideas. Venus, your ruler, entering your relationship house, bring a new you, very, very powerful, charming, sexy, and also it gives you answers dealing with security matters. Looking for a job or maybe to increase your revenues or making some long-term investments, this is the week to take initiative, except double-check things before you do. You'll find what you need. You're very protected this week. Look also at the bigger picture about the purpose of your life. That's the big key of this week's message from the stars to you. On the weekend, be patient with other people. You're the one to give and the other people to receive. Does that make sense? Cancers, Virgos, and Capricorn show they care. Your magical color, 
blue lucky number 7 and 14. Gemini, you are in a very good cycle. The new moon in your creative sector make you better, more balanced. It brings charm, confidence, and better health. Venus entering your workhouse brings you luck in career, and somehow you are been given by the universe the ability to make things right, and you could also get a possibly a financial windfall. Wow, or a green light about a project. You have a glow about you that really uh, is helping you to convince people and you're doing better and better with your health and that's good so stay away from junk food go to the gym and make sure you're the best you can be because big stuff are on the way for you on the weekend fun discussions with very exciting intelligent people await libra leo and cancer definitely are friends your magical color yellow lucky numbers 8 and 17. Cancer, the new moon in your home sector gives you a glow. Venus entering your creative house bring encouraging news in the work sector. In health also, you are getting some miracles there and there's some recognition in society. Everywhere you go, people seem to have an eye on you. So everything to do with faith, charm, kindness, definitely are your best tools to get things done. You could convince anyone this week. People really want a piece of you. You feel in your bones that now there's a wind of change is coming your way. So the universe is definitely pushing you forward. You can't go back. Trust the process of the universe. Go with it. Don't resist. Don't let your ego say, oh, what if, what, what? There's no what if. Eh, the universe will do its thing through you. Let it do it. On the weekend, love makes you an offer you cannot refuse. Your magical color pink, lucky numbers 11 and 22. Ta-da! Leo, Leo, the new moon in your communication sector makes you very magnetic, witty, and strong. Venus entering your home house inspires you to really take a pause and see where you are doing in your life. What do you want to accomplish in the next five years? How did you do in the last few years? What about maybe laying down your plans now, okay, for the next three months, six months, year, financially and career and your personal life to make things happen the way you want it, the way you deserve it. And people also offer you a lot of help, even financial, if you need it, kindness and support everywhere you go, at work and at home. On the weekend, it's definitely joy awaits. You feel really, really good in your heart. You're well surrounded. Your magical color is orange, lucky numbers one and 10. Virgos, the new one in your financial sector bring answers and all kinds of uh, solutions to some of your questions. You're moving forward in a very exciting direction, my beautiful Virgos. Your spiritual self is very strong. Venus planet of love also in your communication house make you realize how amazing and wonderful and special you are. This is time where you really need to shine your light and also accept all the blessings that the universe is bringing to you now. You deserve it all. And maybe this week, sometimes after Tuesday, say no. It's very healthy for you to say no sometimes. You know that's your biggest challenge in the world. And you could say yes maybe in a couple of weeks. On the weekend, you definitely feel appreciated, like really loved. Cancer, Taurus, Leo, definitely show. Take care. Your magical color green, lucky numbers 2 and 11. And now here's your wizard affirmation of this electrifying week. Whoa, it's like karma, karma in action. The world is our mirror, ha uh ha. -huh. What we see in others, in everything, is the reflection of who we are. You see, it takes one to know one. You see? You, so everything you see and everything you do, it's all about you. So always, always, always make sure that you do not judge anyone because your judgment normally will be a reflection of a projection of you. Something that you love about yourself, or something that you would like to heal. But what a good way to find out who you are. I always say, my mother said, tell me what you think about me so I can find out what you are. Have fun with this, friends, and thank you for all your love, your kisses, your, your beautiful um, feedback. I truly, truly love it. Angel and I, we wish you a fabulous week where the karma will show you where to go. Bye.